Hello, my name's Wesley. Do you like my hair? Gee, thanks. I totally cut it myself. So I'd like to begin for thanking everyone for coming back to watch yet another one of my videos. And an even bigger thank you to all 30 people who have subscribed to my channel. You are the angels in my life and the sparkle in my eye. Today I am coming to you from my studio. Originally I had planned to do a video about why I started a YouTube channel in the first place. However, that could easily turn into a good 35 minutes of me just rambling on. So in the process of researching to do a 35 minute ramble, I found out about this thing called the Get To Know Me tag. Now the Get To Know Me tag has been around for a million years, apparently just since 2017. So what the Get To Know Me tag is a list of 25 to 50 questions about yourself. And the purpose of it is to answer all the questions to teach your followers about who you are. That's right, you're my followers. So this challenge actually isn't anything new. I remember it from about 25 years ago when it started as an email. It used to be a list of 50 to 100 questions forwarded straight to your inbox, usually by your mom or someone close to you. The purpose was to answer all the questions and forward it to 50 people or else something terrible would happen. Your house would burn down. Your mom would fall over. Your dad would fall off a ladder. The world might explode. Send this to 50 people or else. So after that, it went on to be a Facebook status. That's right, someone's status would just be 50 to 100 questions explaining who they are and what their purpose is. It was really annoying. Now, it's become a thing on YouTube, maybe even on TikTok. I still don't really know what TikTok is. So having said that, let's answer 50 questions about myself. I cut 10 because I thought they were dumb. My full name is Wesley J. Barisoff Simpson. I really don't know if my name means anything. I look it up probably about once a year, but I still really couldn't tell you. Actually, yes, I am named after someone. His name is Wes Hightower. He was played by Glenn Scott in the John Travolta film, Urban Cowboy. As you can see, quite the looker and clearly the best figure for my namesake. I'm from Canada. I was born in Revelstoke, British Columbia, and that's also where I grew up. I would say my best characteristics are my effervescent personality and my warm, bubbly enthusiasm. Both. It can be both. So first of all, gender is just a social construct, and maybe some of us need to be a bit more open to thinking outside of that box. My biggest fear is failing. Or falling. Flailing? Is that, is that what that is? Pass. Liquor. I don't exactly remember the exact phrasing of it, but I think it's by Picasso. Um, and it essentially is that uh, destruction is the first true act of creation. You have to cut up your fabric before you can make anything out of it. Whoa, that's pretty deep. It's called I Love the Nightlife by Alicia Bridges. So I had to look up what RN means. Thought it was registered nurse. Any of the Disney parks, even Epcot. Why's everyone got the hate on for Epcot? Math or PE? Really any class where the teacher's solution was to give me a stern talking to about how I need to be good at this to excel in life. Uh, any class where the teacher didn't give me a stern talking to about why I needed to excel at this to be good at life. To a hotel, because I'm tired of them staying at my house. Birds! Stop searching for the wizard, that's for sure. My weakness is my strength. We had a friend and we went to a lot of like fetish, kink parties. Uh, she says just for the dancing, but we wore a lot of weird costumes. They know who they are. Of course I do. What do you think's in these cupboards behind me? Definitely not stacks and stacks of dollar bills. Titanic. Notebook sucks. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Two. Well, normally I'd pick up my phone and tell you my last text, but unfortunately my phone is my camera. So I can't actually pick it up or I'd have to stop recording this movie. Did you know if everyone watching donated at least $25,000, I would no longer have to use my phone as my camera and I could answer this question. Laura Craig. So one time I was in a Zellers, and if you don't know what Zellers is, feel free to just go online and Google that up and it'll tell you exactly what Zellers was. Um, so I was in a Zellers and I was like, 
maybe 12, 13. I don't know, I was in, in my teens for sure. And like any good teenager, I decided while my family was shopping, I was just gonna go ahead and sit in the lawn chair display. So first of all, when you sit in the lawn chair display, you know you're gonna be on display, everyone's gonna look at you. So when you're a teenager, it's like, oh, look at me, I'm breaking the rules, I'm not supposed to sit here, I'm so cool. Which, yeah, still, still kind of true, I am so cool. Um, So I had this great plan. Well, they're shopping, I'm bored, I'm gonna go sit in this lawn chair. So the very second my bum hits the seat of that chair, all four legs go out and I found myself on the floor. And do you think anyone was there to help me? Oh no, oh no, they were all in the next aisle laughing their faces off. Oh, look who's fallen on the floor. Not helping, of course. Definitely not that one I went on on TV. Having to get many surgeries and doctor appointments and needles and things. Ugh. Two. This one and the other one. All of them. I actually have a lot of anxiety surrounding phone calls. Something about the intimacy of you and the other person and their voice being there and you can't like do other things or think of a response or it phone calls, they freak me out. And if it's important, they can leave a voicemail and I can just call them back when I'm good and ready. And if they don't leave a voicemail, I just assume it was a wrong number or a scam. Well, I really want to say I'd go somewhere fancy, you know, like Balenciaga, Gucci, Prada. I'll have one of those furs, give me those sunglasses, oh, those shoes are great, excellent, I'll take two. I don't even have to try it on. <laughs> but really, I probably would spend the money at Home Depot. I really want a new dishwasher or dryer. Well, I've already done it once, so probably not again. Pop visual artist, Revelstoke Secondary School, 2003. Maria Bamford, Amy Sedaris, Fred Rogers, and of course, Oprah. The Notebook. We went to the early bird buffet at the casino. It was great because no one else was there to breathe all over everything before I ate it. An adult film. No, it was actually the title card for this movie. Wow, wasn't that fun? As always, feel free to like and comment and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to elaborate on, you have any questions, or you just want to tell me how great I am. Just do that. That's my favorite. Just tell me how great I am. So thank you everyone once again for watching my videos. I really hope that you're gonna like, subscribe, and comment because that's very important to me. So until next time, keep fit and have fun. Bye!